Time now for our post-game recap presented by Clutch Transportation. The Browns fall 17 to 15 to the Washington Commanders here at Cleveland Browns Stadium. The starters did see some action today for the Cleveland Browns. Well, most of the starters, some of the big names getting the night off. But when Deshaun Watson took the field, he was sharp. Three of three passing, ran for another 20 yards. He saw Elijah Moore with a run for 18 yards. And the Browns took that possession down the field and got to a first and goal situation. They would run the ball four straight times, including once they got down to the one yard line on third and one, they lost a couple, tried to run again on fourth down. They would not get a score. So out goes the Browns defense. They'd already forced the commanders to punt it early in the game. They come out for their second possession with the commanders backed up near their own goal line. And Zadarius Smith, it was great to see the three time pro bowler because he put some pressure on Sam Howell, beating right tackle Andrew Wiley. Wiley had no choice but to hold him in the end zone, and that was a safety. The Browns would be up two to nothing. That would be the end of the run for the Browns starters on both sides of the ball. Then the second string comes in, and the commanders, well, they had a darn good second quarter. Sam Howell with a long touchdown pass to Johan Dotson. That put them up seven to nothing. And then Jacoby Brissett, the former Brown quarterback, he came in, led a touchdown drive that saw him take off and run 12 yards for the second score of the game, making it 14 to two commanders at the half. Early in the third quarter, Joey Slaw would add a field goal. It was 17 to two commanders. And then Dorian Thompson Robinson got in there and heated up once again. He would go nine of 10 passing on the day over 100 yards and a touchdown. He would find David Bell, hot read against the blitz, right there on a slant at the goal line for a touchdown. That was the third scoring drive for DTR of more than 75 yards already in this preseason. And then at the end of the game, the Browns, found themselves down eight. Kellen Mond in at quarterback. They drive down the field. Some big plays on that one. He had Austin Watkins on a fourth down, making a huge catch to extend the drive. And then Kellen Mond in our clutch play of the day found Mike Harley Jr. for a touchdown that would bring the Browns within two, 17 to 15. They would not be able to convert the two point conversion and hence the final score, 17 to 15. So what went well? Who are some guys that helped themselves? Well, first of all, I thought the starters looked good defensively. You saw Obo Okoronko and Zedaria Smith and Dalvin Tomlinson make an immediate impact. JOK flying around the field at linebacker. And I thought at safety, Juan Thornhill really stood out, not only for his coverage, but his tackling skills in the run game. So first team D, they were great. Didn't give up a point, scored two points. That's a win. Deshaun Watson and that offense looked smooth moving the ball down the field. You got to finish those drives, obviously, but it was good. He looked comfortable, showed his ability to make plays, not only with his arm, but with his legs as well. Some young players on defense who helped themselves. Well, first and foremost, it's got to be Ryan. Johnny Hickman, the safety from Ohio State, had not one but two interceptions today. The second one, an absolute beauty. Playing in the post, saw the dig route in front of him, broke on the football and intercepted it. I thought that was a great game and Hickman battling to be the team's fourth safety this year. This was a major step for the player from Ohio State. Offensively, Austin Watkins continues to shine. He led the Browns six catches for 71 yards, and DTR continues to play well at the quarterback position. So that's really what you saw today. Just a little taste of the starters. That's it. You got a little taste, but you had to like what you see. Now, one area that needs to improve again, Cade York missing his only field goal attempt wide right, as he did wide right in the Hall of Fame game. 0 for 2 from 40 plus now in the preseason, and that has got to get cleaned up. You got to be able to go in the season with the confidence that those are going to go through the uprights because it's just too important for the Cleveland Browns. Listen, Kate, incredibly talented. He will get it figured out, but a little concerning coming out of the game with a second straight miss in a field goal opportunity. Now the Browns will head on Sunday to Philadelphia. Next week they will have joint practices Monday and Tuesday from Philadelphia. We'll have you covered with Training Camp Insider. I'll be there along with the Hoff, Joe Thomas, breaking down the action because that might be the most significant action the starters get all preseason. A real ramp up. Then we'll have the game next Thursday night in Philly and that'll be a lot more like the Hall of Fame game. Starters won't play in that one. The young guys trying to make this team make a roster here with the Browns or somewhere else in the NFL showing what they can do. 
17-15, the Browns dropped to the Commanders here today in the preseason. But again, that first team, it looked good on both sides of the ball. The new additions, Elijah Moore on offense. And then you talk about the big three up front. Oboe, Zadarius Smith, and Dalvin Tomlinson looking good on defense. Juan Thornhill as well on the back end. That was what you take away from this. That's what was encouraging. For full coverage of your Cleveland Browns, keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app. This has been the Browns Game Recap presented by Clutch Transportation.